Hey there. Well, apparently, there are people who are upset with me because I dared to get into a hangout with Bering. There are people who are saying, well, I just lost a lot of credibility because I got into a hangout with Bering. Really? That makes me lose credibility over that? I mean, it's, it's like I'm supposed to just rail against someone that I might disagree with. Otherwise, you know, oh, I'm showing that I agree with them. No, I just want to have a reasonable conversation. Okay, I was getting very frustrated with, let's say, uh, uh, Eagle Eye 1975, right? I, I had just about reached the level of what I could handle. But I was admitting that. You know, I say, hey, I just, I just, I don't know if I can handle these kinds of arguments anymore. Now, maybe... Um, I haven't been seeing all of his points, he hasn't been seeing all of my points, whatever. Um, I was becoming fed up. I needed a break. You know, eventually I will probably, um, like, I'll probably go into a hangout with him at some point. See, here's the thing to me, okay? It doesn't matter what someone's belief is. If they're not willing to discuss those things in a reasonable way, it doesn't matter how great their belief is. And it doesn't matter how shitty someone's belief is. If they're willing to discuss it reasonably, you still have a reasonable person. Okay, someone could believe that gay people should be put to death. But if they're still being reasonable to people, they're treating people reasonably, they're not actually going out to try to change the laws to make it so we can put gay people to death... You know, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine with me. I don't really care what your beliefs are. I care how you treat people. Now, Bering in his videos can be kind of mean. Um, that's just sort of the nature of this sort of thing. I'm not going to say that it's great. I'm not going to say that it's the worst thing ever. Because I think Bering at least makes attempts to try to be reasonable even when he's being mean. Okay, it's not like Undoomed. Undoomed's videos are just, they're just ponage videos. Pure, unadulterated ponage videos. But then if you get into uh, Undoomed in a hangout, he can be reasonable in a hangout. And he, and he doesn't do that voice that he, I mean, I can't, I can't do that voice that he does. Um, you know, um, he's reasonable in a hangout. Bearing is very, very reasonable in a hangout. Okay, if you're going to just say, well, I can't support you because you got into a hangout with this person. Hey, bye, Felicia. You know, if, if, if the, if, this is one of the problems with the left, and I've had problems with this since, the, since I ever got involved in politics, since I got involved in LGBT activism. Okay, something that just does not work. It's never worked and it never will work is this idea that, well, you know, if, if you don't convert to our way of doing things immediately, right now, you're just a bigot. Well, it takes people a while to, to wean into an idea. It can take years for someone to build up an open-mindedness. And if you're so busy that you want to sit there and, and go, well, you're starting to become open-minded? Well, stop being an idiot and do this. No, it, that's, that's not how it works. Okay, You can't just demand that people suddenly become infinitely open-minded. Otherwise, well, you, know, you're not, you don't really care about our stuff. This stuff has to happen slowly. You have to be reasonable about this stuff. You can't just act like ACT UP did. In, in the 90s and go, you have to accept me. Yeah, well, that's not going to make anyone accept you. That's going to make people be repelled. You're going to repel people with that. Okay, and if a bunch of people start having that kind of attitude about things, I mean, you are asking for people to hate you. I've worked hard in, in when I've gotten politically involved. When I've went when I've went to rallies, when I've went to planning meetings for anti-gay stuff to try to ask questions that will make the audience go, "Wait a minute, I didn't know this is what this really did." You know, I'm trying to get people to think. I'm trying to do what I can 
to... I mean, because you're not going to get people to think if you're just making these big, huge, over-the-top declarations about huge swaths of people. You're not going to get them to listen. You're not going to get them to listen if all you want to do is insult them. You're not going to get them to listen. That's just the simple truth of it. And when so many people want to take this act up method of, of, of politics, of activism, I, I mean, you're just, you're digging your own fucking hole. This sort of shit is the reason why Trump got elected. Or one of the biggest reasons why Trump got elected. Look at the, the blind, how people would just blindly follow Hillary. Of course, look at the way that some people will just blindly follow Trump. A lot of this shit going on. But this whole, you need to become infinitely open-minded right now. Do it right now. That's not going to do a goddamn thing. And if you think it is, go look at the results. We have Trump as president. Congratulations. And then you're going to still continue to do this shit? Anyone who does this is an idiot. You do not have very much intelligence. You are unintelligent. You are stupid. Because you can't, you can't seem to understand basic human psychology. Knock this shit off. It's this sort of shit that's making people hate the LGBT community. And now you're, you're, you're pissed off at me because I'm actually trying to, to, to do something? I'm trying to, to build the bridges? No, I need to go to your mindset all the way and be one of these people. Well, you have to accept this, and you have to, and you have to, and you have to. No, fuck your you have tos. Nobody has to do anything. Are a lot of people closed-minded? Yes, absolutely, without a doubt. But you're not going to open those minds by telling them, you have to, you have to, or you're a bigot. Shut the fuck up with that shit. Doesn't get anyone anywhere. All it does is make you feel good because you, you think that just doing this will somehow help. And all you're doing is causing problems. It's people like myself and other people who are actual real thinkers who are trying to do something about this. You don't build bridges by burning them. <laughs>